Walt Grayson is with us every Monday at 6 o'clock, as always, and brings us another story about us as he focuses on Mississippi. Now, back to school is about to take on an entirely new meaning at the old Hattiesburg High School. Tell us more, Walt. The finishing touches are being put on the restoration of the building, and the new role it will play in the future has less to do with homework and more to do with home. Depends on the community's mindset whether these old landmarks are saved after they've fallen out of use. Buildings with interesting architecture, buildings that are a part of the character of the town, or if they're leveled and replaced with parking lots or some modern building that looks as out of place as losing a tooth feels to your tongue. And Steve Nail adds another element. Steve is with Interfest, the company restoring Hattiesburg High. He says the building itself deserves some credit for its perseverance. All these old buildings, they, they have a personality. It's worth saving. They, she's fought hard to stay there, just going through hurricane and uh, fire and everything else, and so she deserves to live. So what do you do with an old school? Well, several things have been tried at Hattiesburg High since it was decommissioned in 1959. And since then, the town has owned it. They, they actually had a flea market that ran out of here. I know at one time the University of Southern wanted to have classrooms here and then there was an arsonist and burned out this front half that you see. The city put in new steel structure in behind it that held those walls up. So all that was left were those walls. Which means all that was left was a blank canvas upon which to build anything you wanted to build. And what's being built here? The next life for Hattiesburg High? affordable senior living. It'll be 74 units of independent living, complete units uh, that are for people 55 years of age or older. Well, the upshot of it is this. Hattiesburg saves the landmark and gets to explain to future generations why the boys and girls had separate entrances and what practical purpose that served. And a piece of history gets to write another new chapter. Maybe even former students will come back and live here. Home without the homework. Life does get better with age. <laughs> those, like, are, those are going to be gorgeous. They are. They're, they'll have anything there that you could need. Yes, mm -hmm. wonderful. Uh, and it's are, affordable senior that's, living. Yes, that's, that's, that's the, the most key. important part, too. That is. So, and some of the former students are applying already to the, come back. I, I love it. I love they, it. They loved homeroom. <laughs> <laughs> Plans uh, are for the apartments at Hattiesburg High School to be open by the end of the summer, also. That's that is, good. That's like just it. wonderful. Yeah, I, I like love that it is. when they take a building. And Hattiesburg is to be commended for saving that building when the arsonist came in. Yes. And, and when it was an arson fire there by putting that steel structure in yeah, there, not it, letting it, it, it fall apart. Probably had been just cheaper to let oh, it go. Sure, so. but they didn't yeah. do it. Yeah. All right, hats off to them.